Hezar Fen Ahmed Chalabi was an Islamic scientist and inventor who lived here in Istanbul during the days of the Ottoman Empire, when the city was called Constantinople. He's famous in Turkey today because, according to legend, he was the first person to fly. In 1632, possibly inspired by Leonardo da Vinci, Hezarfen Ahmed Chalabi built a pair of wings and used them to fly across the Bosphorus, from the European side all the way over to the Asian side. During the time of the Ottoman Empire, Turks didn't have last names. So when Hezarfen Ahmed Chalabi was born in Constantinople in 1609, he was just Ahmed. That was his whole name. Later, he was given the honorific Turkish title of Çelebi, which means gentleman or man of God. He was also given the title of Hezarfan, after distinguishing himself as a scientist and inventor. It's a combination of the Persian word Hezar, meaning thousand, and Fen, meaning science. So literally, a thousand sciences. Or more loosely, someone who knows a lot. A polymath. Probably the most famous Hezar fan in the Renaissance period was Leonardo da Vinci. Okay, so here's the story of that first flight. Hezarfen Ahmed Chalabi wanted to build a contraption that would allow him to fly. So he studied birds, and he designed a pair of wings, like in the drawings made by Leonardo da Vinci more than 100 years before. Ahmed may even have seen some of Leonardo's drawings. It's not really clear, though, whether his wings were fixed, making his invention a glider, or whether they were designed to flap, making it a human-powered ornithopter. When Ahmed's wings were ready, he took them to a place called Okmedana. Today, it's right in the heart of Istanbul, on the European side, not far from the neighborhood of Bomanti. 400 years ago, Okmedana was a big open hillside outside the city where the sultan and his soldiers would go to practice archery. According to the story, Hezarfen Ahmed Chalabi took several practice flights here, launching himself from atop the sultan's archery lodge and gliding or flapping downhill. And his wings apparently worked. So now he's ready to take a more serious flight. He goes to Galata Tower, the highest point in Constantinople, on a hill overlooking the Bosphorus. He heads up the stairs to the topmost level. He straps on his wings. He looks out across the Bosphorus. And he launches himself into the air. The Sultan, Murad IV, was watching Ahmed from his mansion on the south side of the Golden Horn. He watched as Ahmed launched himself from the top of Galata Tower and flew all the way across the Bosphorus, from the European side to the Asian side, covering a distance of 3,350 meters, or just over two miles, and landing in Duwanjilar Square. Okay, so the question we're all asking is, did Hezarfen Ahmed Chalabi really make that first flight? Or is it just a legend? Well, the first thing to consider is that the historical record is pretty thin. The only account of Ahmed's flight is found in the writings of 17th century Turkish traveler Evliya Chalabi. It's just a couple of lines. First, he practiced by flying over the pulpit of Okmedana eight or nine times with eagle wings, using the force of the wind. Then, as Sultan Murad Khan was watching from the Shinan Pasha mansion at Suraiburnu, he flew from the very top of Galata Tower and landed in Duwanjilar Square in Ushkudar with the help of the southwest wind. That's it, just those two sentences. There are no other sources. And Evliya Chelebi is widely considered to have embellished and exaggerated things in his travel writings. So we have to take his account of Hezarfen Ahmed Chelebi's flight with a big grain of salt. There's also the simple physics of Ahmed's flight. He descended about 88 meters from the top of Galata Tower, 
where he took off, to Duangular Square on the other side of the Bosphorus, where he landed. And he covered a horizontal distance of about 3,350 meters. So that makes the glide ratio of his flight 37 to 1. Possible? Well, maybe, but it doesn't seem likely. With a modern hang glider, a good flight would have a glide ratio of, say, 20 to 1. From an elevation equal to the top of Galata Tower, that would make a flight distance of maybe 1,750 meters. So for Hezarfin Ahmed Chelebi to have gone nearly twice as far, with wings built using 17th century materials, it just makes the story seem more like legend than fact. Whatever the truth, Hezarfin Ahmed Chelebi is a folk hero today in Turkey. England has Robin Hood, the United States has Johnny Appleseed and Paul Bunyan and John Henry, and Turkey has Hezarfen Ahmed Chelebi. He's been on Turkish postage stamps, and the subject of children's books, and cartoons, and a popular TV show. According to Evliya Chelebi's brief account, Hezarfen Ahmed Chelebi did not live long after taking that astonishing first flight. Sultan Murad IV, after witnessing the event, awarded him with a sack of gold. But then he became wary. A man capable of flying was probably capable of anything, perhaps even overthrowing the Sultan. So that made him too dangerous to keep around. The Sultan therefore exiled Hezarfen Ahmed Chalabi to Algeria, where he died in 1640. He was only 31.